Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. Hi, I'm Saul Schleimer. These are ciphered surfaces. All of these 3D prints are ciphered surfaces for various torus knots and links. Here we have the 3 2, the 3 3, the 4 3, the 4 4, the 5 3, and 5 4 ciphered surfaces. A spanning surface, or a ciphered surface, for a knot is a surface whose boundary is the knot. The simplest example of a spanning surface is a soap film spanning a wire loop. A more complicated wire loop gives a more complicated spanning surface. For example, a pair of linked loops gives the Hopf band. As the knot becomes more complicated, so does the spanning surface. Here's the ciphered surface for the 5 3 torus knot. Here's the 5 3 torus knot itself. It's at a different scale, which means that if I line it up just right with the surface, you can see how the knot matches the boundary of the surface. To make a ciphered surface for the PQ torus knot, we start by drawing a picture in the Euclidean triangle with angles at two of the corners, pi over p and pi over q. We use a conformal map to change the Euclidean triangle into a round disk. To do this, we invert a schwartz christoffel map using Newton's method. Next, we use another conformal map, also due to Schwartz, to send the disk to a hyperbolic version of the Euclidean triangle. Note that the angles at two of the three corners are back to their original pi over p and pi over q. The apex of the triangle has been sent to infinity and has angle zero. This hyperbolic triangle nicely tiles the hyperbolic plane. The tiling of the plane is locally identical to the tiling of the ciphered surface at the end. Next, we have to map the hyperbolic plane into the three-sphere. The PQ torus knot in the three-sphere can be described by the equation w to the p plus z to the q equals zero. The ciphered surface can be described as a Milner fiber by the equation the argument of w to the p plus z to the q equals zero. The algebra allows us to find functions from the hyperbolic plane to the three-sphere that parameterize the ciphered surface. This is very similar to how cosine and sine parameterize the unit circle. Once we have the ciphered surface in the three sphere, we stereographically project to three space and we are done. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.